what exactly it is that I do. I've been called everything from a con man, to a street magician, to a mind reader. Well, what I do is a combination between two things, psychology and sleight of hand. Next question people ask me is, what the hell is sleight of hand? Let me show you. This is one of the very first things that I learned. If I take a quarter, all I'm going to do is squeeze it just a little bit. If I squeeze it, it looks like it disappears. But really, it's still over here in this hand. Here's how that works. What I do is I take the quarter, and as my left hand starts to close, my right hand just takes that quarter and pulls it right back into its palm, and I hide it there. While well, my left hand pretends like it has the quarter. I squeeze it, open up, looks like it's disappeared, but really it's still over here. Well, let's take this a step further. Let's say we were at a barbecue, someone's backyard, or even in a bar just like this one. I were to go up to someone and uh, let's say I asked them if they had a quarter that I could borrow. They pull out a quarter. Let's say this guy's name is Tom, Tom Sullivan. I tell him to take a pen and to put his initials on both sides of the quarter, real big. So let's say he does that. A T on one side and an S on the other. Wait for that to dry. Perfect. So we have Tom Sullivan's quarter with his initials on both sides. Say I take a beer can. Watch. If I take the quarter and the beer can, slam it, it looks like it disappears. Sometimes you can hear it. If you look. I want you to see that there's nothing on the bottom of the can. The top is still sealed. I really want you to hear this. Hold on. Right there. You hear that? Kind of if you get it down towards the bottom. I just shook it up. We're gonna open it up. I hope it doesn't spray too much here. If I pour it out, inside the can, is a quarter. If you look, you can see that it is the exact same quarter that we started with. That is Tom's coin, signed on both sides. I would then take this can, with the quarter still sealed inside of it, give it to Tom to take home as a souvenir. He can get home, he can rip open the top of the can and pry that quarter out if he wants. It is his sign coin. That's what I call sinful. Also known as a quarter through the soda can and a quarter through the beer can.